Hey everyone, my name is Megan and this is Painted and Distressed. This video is part of my fall series and my giveaway in the pre one of my previous videos has been extended and I will be offering a choice between a farm fresh or the farmer's market calendar from Dollar Tree. And it's gonna be extended until September 17th. Unfortunately, the person that won never responded. So good news for you guys, there's another chance to win. The video will be linked in my description box and that video has more information on how to win. We're gonna be doing some Kirkland's dupes again today. And this time it's gonna be outdoor decor. We're going to be recreating this blue welcome pumpkin sign that retails for $64.99 and this Hey Boo Halloween porch board that retails for $69.99. I'm going to make my sign reversible so it's just going to be one sign and I got this particular one from Hobby Lobby on clearance for $3.25. So on one side, I'm gonna be painting it this beautiful blue color that I used, I believe it was a Craftsmart chalk paint from Michaels and then in the color indigo. And then I mixed in some Waverly ink and some Apple Barrel Burnt Umber. And I gave the board two coats to make sure that the words were not appearing. And then on the other side, I am just using Waverly ink and you can also sand these before you paint them, but I don't like sanding, so I just do a couple coats. Then with my Cricut, I cut out the letters for welcome, except for the O, and they're about, I would say, three inches tall. Um, by all means, you do not need to use a Cricut. You can use Microsoft Word to cut out the letters or to print out the letters and make a stencil that way. Um, that's very easy to achieve doing it with that method. I was originally for the O going to use this pumpkin decal using water slide decals, but unfortunately I forgot that the board is dark blue and didn't update the colors to make it more vibrant. So I went in a different direction. I took this carvable pumpkin from Dollar Tree, I cut it in half, and then I just took my folk art white wax and I gave it a couple coats. Now there's not really a method per se to this, um, but I just give it the first coat. I usually apply it pretty thick and then with this particular pumpkin, I wiped off the raised parts so that way the ribs um, had a lot more dimension in them and then I just went back over for the brighter parts because the pumpkin was way too orange for my taste and then for the stem I just took a wooden dowel that I cut down and then wrapped it with twine and then just stuck it down in there to the top and then I'm just hot gluing it to the board now if you're going to have this outside, mine is going to be covered under a covered porch, but if yours is going to be outside, I would recommend using E6000 and hot glue to adhere it. And then now I'm using this Waverly varnish that is a matte finish and it's for indoor and outdoor use. And I've used it on several projects and it works fantastic. So for the Halloween side, I made a stencil using my Cricut and then I am just pouncing on the paint using Waverly Ivory. And when you use a stencil, you wanna make sure that you are pouncing up and down with the paint instead of side to side. Um, that way you don't have any bleed through and you have crisp, crisp clear lines. And so that's what I'm doing here. And then I also coat the front of this with a couple coats of the Waverly varnish, just like I did with the other side.
this is what the welcome sign looked like from Kirkland's and this is what we just made for the fall side and this is the Kirkland's hey boo for the other side and this is ours and I would love to know what you guys think about this how did we do and these are just some Dollar Tree and Dollar Store pumpkins I laid out for display. This next dupe, we're going to be recreating this home doormat that retails for $14.99 from Kirkland's. And so I took this choir doormat that's 18 by 30, which is the exact same size that the Kirkland's mat is, and I got it from Walmart for $5.97. And I'm just taking painter's tape and putting out my lines. Now, for the spaces in between, I just used a spare piece of tape to get an even spacing. And then I'm just using black matte Rust-Oleum spray paint. And I gave it about one and a half coats. It really just needs one, it has great coverage but I just wanted to make sure that all the areas were covered. So then once again, using my Cricut stencil vinyl, I just cut out the word, the letters H-M-E. And then with the pumpkin there, I actually used a wood cutout from Dollar Tree. And um, this is Dollar Tree stencil, or this is Dollar Tree vinyl. And I just used a regular pen and just traced out and cut it. And this video is extra special today because it is in collaboration with my sweet friend Lynn from Hot Mess and Hot Glue. She's going to be recreating the same Kirkland dupes that I am recreating. And we also have the third project is going to be a wild card, so we're each going to be making different items for our third project and it's always so much fun to collab with her because we have the same taste but different styles and it's always fun to see having the same exact project but to see what we both come up with and um, make sure you check out her channel she has so much so much fall inspiration and Halloween she started to do some Halloween as well and she is so creative so so creative make sure you check out her channel and let her know that I sent you and so what I did with the pumpkin is I traced it out using a paint pen and then I just painted the inside of it using Waverly chalk paint in the color pumpkin and then I took a stiff brush, bristled brush, and then I just went back over to make sure that there, everything, all the letters were completely filled in with the ivory chalk paint. Now I know it's hard to believe you can use chalk paint on a doormat um, where it's gonna see weather and feet and water and all the things, but as long as you make sure to coat it with a sealer. I use the Rust-Oleum Clear Matte spray paint because it is a sealer and it's a UV protectant and I have no problems with any of my doormats. I have made several and they all hold up wonderfully. And just to recap, this is Kirkland's and this is ours. Now the colors do appear more vibrant after you spray it and unfortunately I did not spray it before I took the pictures but it looks beautiful and I would love to know what you guys think. This final project is our quote unquote wild card project and what I decided to do is make a wreath. And I, my inspiration was these two wreaths from Kirkland's. I liked both, I liked pieces of both of them. So I took this brass wreath form from Dollar Tree and then some lamb's ear that I got from Walmart. And then this garland that I unraveled because it's not that long and it's from Dollar Tree as well. 
and I attached those at first using some chenille stems because I just wanted to get an idea of where I wanted to place everything and then I go back and I use some tiny little zip ties. And then I take another sprig of the lamb's ear from Walmart and I zip tie that on top just to give it some more some more fullness. And then I take these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree and I just hot glue them onto the leaves. Now mine is going to be covered and so zip um, zip tie. Wow. So hot glue will suffice but if yours is going to be out in inclement weather again I would recommend using E6000 and hot glue um, and then so I just place them you know wherever I saw fit and then I'm just kind of hot gluing to give it a better appearance and then I'm also adding some more zip ties to ensure that everything stays together nicely and then this is a recap of what the two look like and their prices, I might add, yowza. And then this is what we made today. And I would say I probably cost me around $5 to make this beautiful wreath. I did add a buffalo check bow to it as well. And these are all our projects that we made together today. And again, I would love to know what you guys think of these projects. They were inexpensive, quick, easy to make. And I do want to mention this is my parents' porch. They just had this new front door installed and they had not had a chance to trim, paint the trim yet. And I know they're going to be a little upset that I posted these pictures of their front porch without their front door uh, finished and I was unable to figure out how to do it in post. So I'm so sorry, mom and dad, I love you. <laughs> Your front door looks beautiful. Anyways, I had to mention that. And um, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure you check out the previous video for the calendar giveaway. Thank you so much to Lynn for collabing with me again. Make sure you check out her channel. It is linked down below. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.